In the 10 years since it was unveiled, Berlin's Holocaust Memorial has become a powerful draw for visitors and residents alike. A broad expanse that invites reflection and a favorite background for photos. In all, a showcase for Germany's effort to come to terms with its Nazi past. The topic comes up a lot among friends. We discuss it and the responsibility that we all carry. Reminders of that responsibility dot the German capital. In the mid-1960s, this sign was erected near Berlin's landmark KDW department store. It's a reminder of the places of horror, the concentration and death camps of the Third Reich. At the time, the placard was highly controversial. Many Germans at the time wanted to forget the Holocaust and the Nazi dictatorship. These days, it is still an irritation. People always make the same argument. At some point, we have to put that period behind us. No, I say it is not past. So the sign remains, conjuring up different emotions among those who take notice. As a teacher, I went with my students to Dachau. We are still trying to deal with that era, even today. Of course I have sympathy for the victims, but I don't feel as if I'm responsible. The atrocities have been such a burden throughout my life. At some point, we have to put an end to it. Trains leading to life, trains leading to death. A sculpture at one of Berlin's main commuter stations. One side portrays the estimated 10,000 Jewish children who were evacuated to Britain and saved. The other side, the one and a half million children who died in the camps. Most people just walk right past on their daily commute. But if someone has traveled a long way and is interested in the city, those are the ones who will have a closer look at it. As with these simple sidewalk markers, many Berlin students have researched the former addresses of Holocaust victims in their city. The plaque commemorating this Jewish couple bears the names of Margareta and Gustav Lefebvre, who died in Auschwitz. This place where I'm standing is no normal place. It has a unique history, a meaning. People should take the time to reflect, not just walk away. The students say their efforts will be worth it if just a few people come across these stones and are moved to contemplate and to remember.